Yo, what up my beautiful G's and welcome back to a new video here on the It's Waste Graffiti YouTube channel. Today is a very special video because we... I'm not really used to talking to the camera like this, so what I will do is I'll find some time-lapses from old videos and I will put them behind uh, this talking stuff so you don't have to watch my face all the time. Today we are going to talk about how I started painting letters on stuff. So, first we gonna start with this. Thank you guys. I I don't have any words. 1000 subscribers plus. It's really crazy for me that is happening finally here on the channel. This is one of my 1k specials. We already did a special on the wall. A little bit more of a raw video. Not so raw as I wanted. But I explained it in that video. Check it out if you haven't already. It's the last video on my channel after this one. I prepped the canvas for the 1k giveaway. That is also coming soon, but it can take a little bit weeks because I still have to start painting it and I'm working and baby stuff and busy. Ah. But yeah, so it, it is coming. I have to just to start and it will be done and you will see the video and you will know how to win it in that video. Let's start with the story time. Back in the early days of my life, my parents got divorced and my mom moved out of the house. So whenever I've got to visit my grandma with my mother, we will use the train as our transport. And so we went a lot with the trains, saw a lot of graffiti, but yeah, I was so small that I cannot even read yet. So character stuff. Uh, Kabouter, for the people who know him, he's very big here in the Netherlands with a little gnome character. He was up everywhere around my city. That was one of the first people I started to rec recognize being everywhere. Of course, other people did other character stuff. That was also very cool to see. And the letters of course were already all very colorful pieces also big chrome stuff I was like yeah but I it's cool but I don't know what it's read what it says because yeah if you cannot read letters you definitely cannot read crafty I was born in the city of Gouda very famous for cheese and uh, my neighborhood was uh, next to the train tracks there the main train track is running, uh, running through Gouda and my, my neighborhood was next to it. So we were already playing along the tracks where it was not allowed to be, finding cans that people threw over the tracks. Uh, so yeah, we move on uh, some years. I started skateboarding a lot with my friend from my neighborhood and yeah, of course skate parks. What are skate parks very known for? Being covered with grass. So when we were playing around the train tracks, we will climb, climb up about and hang on the fence and just watch the trains go by, all painted. And check the pieces out on the tracks, maybe spot if something was new and we were like, how, did we, how didn't we notice that? <laughs> oh, always checking it out. Sitting on the other station in Gouda, uh, apart from the main stage station, just taking pictures of trains, paintings around, uh, pieces around the tracks. Yeah, fun times, really good times when I think about it. So we were already playing along the tracks where it was not allowed to be finding cans that people threw over the tracks and they sometimes had a little bit of paint left in them started using those to do some first tags and stuff and stupid smiley faces uh, we uh, got a one of, I got one of a can of one of the guys who was painting in Gouda Everywhere, Rasta, for the people who know him, very cool, good, very cool dude, still painting, he's been rocking since 
the beginning. A little bit of a leftover from in on the skate park day when I was like 10, 11, nah, younger, I think nine maybe. I'm not really, sh sh I'm not really, I don't really have the time dates, like the timeline straight. I think it was somewhere between eight and ten. Um, we also got used to uh, getting paint in the traditional way. Never got caught by the authorities for that, but was caught by parents for that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I explain where the paint is coming from and what are you doing with it. Hmm. Then later on, of course, what was inspiring for me to do artwork while well, practicing art, it was not really artwork, it was more bad practice. <laughs> Album covers, really big uh, experience for me from whenever I was born, I think. <laughs> Yeah, metal album covers, of course. Hard Rock Kiss, Maiden, Metallica, Megadeth. They all have crazy album covers with stuff that used to be real paintings. Very inspiring. I still use that for cover schemes. And of course, sometimes you'll see me paint uh, Eddie from Iron Maiden. And in the last sticker uh, video, I Post, it was of course the other character from Megadeth. That's something that's really nice. I probably will make a video separately about the album covers that inspired me in doing art in general. And in the other 1K special, I thought about uh, how I found the name Waste and uh, somewhere. Somewhere in that video, it's really long and I completely voiced over the whole thing, so check it out. There's the meaning behind the waste, not, not really the meaning, but how I find the, found the name, the tag name, waste. It, so many names when I started painting. I think we, we and I changed names every week or sometimes twice a day, so yeah. Of course, when you're just starting out, it's all stupid. Yeah. When I was around 18, I was on the uh, carpenter school in uh, Rotterdam, of course, big Dutch city. And uh, I was doing a project and I needed some spray paint for that because I wanted uh, to make a cabinet with a spray paint top. I never finished it. And um, I just did the top and then I quit school. <laughs> um, so we had some leftover paints. And at the same time, we found out about the thing that is a big wall. Of course, when I talk about we, it's about Push and me. And uh, when we were on the uh, school, you had a student card for traveling with the uh, public tra transportation and we will go to cities, all the big cities in the Netherlands we have been to almost uh, just to walk around and look at the graffiti and yeah, just be walking around and enjoying a different scene. Yeah, looking around in the cities. Oh yeah, oh, we saw him over there as well. That one also. And yeah, then we started the painting at the legal walls. I think Bush and I will do a video whenever we go get around to filming it. Of course, it can be a long time with the baby, but we will see. Maybe when she falls asleep someday. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I think Bush and I will make a video of where we talk about how we started painting together and doing the walls and uh, try to search for some images and uh, yeah, we'll make a separate video about that. 
I went a little bit nuts and painted a lot of stuff. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then I had to change the name for the reasons that I told in the other video. And um, I started to take it a little bit too serious, maybe, or maybe not. But I was painting uh, twice, three times a week, really practicing and not doing it to be up like how you, what you will do when you paint graffiti on the traditional way. And now, uh, four years ago, well, the waste uh, thing started. And this June, I'm um, four years here on YouTube making these videos. That has been a very weird experience sometimes, and sometimes really good, and sometimes really shit. Uh, basically, it has, been, it has been a very nice time here on the channel. It's growing really good. I'm happy with it. So, uh, yeah, I hope I'll catch you in the next video. Let me know if you like this video and uh, please subscribe to my channel and don't miss out on any of my other videos. I hope to catch you on the next one. Bye bye.